Hi everyone. Well, it's here. The cover for my planner finally arrived. This is the blue um, planner from Martha Stewart and hers is the Martha Stewart Disc Bound System by Avery but I've taken those covers off of it and I've added the arc rings. These are the one and a half inch pink rings that I added to it and I converted it into an arc journal. So I found a little Hello Kitty bracelet and attached it to the front right here with that little charm and I thought it has this little piece that dangles down. I just attached it to the little bow clip that I found at Home De at Office Depot and I thought I could just add a few other little charms to this chain right here when I find some as I go. Now on the side is a Hello Kitty pen that I found at Michael's. It was in a set as a pen and a pencil. So I just attached the pen here and it has the little Hello Kitty in there as well. So let's open it up. Now the nice thing is the back cover comes with this elastic so it just stays attached to the planner and then I can just open it up. So here in the front pockets I got a couple of those love clips. Um, I believe these are made by Freckled Fawn but I bought them off of a website called Studio L2E. And I don't remember if I showed these in my last video. I picked up these two sets of stamps to use in my planner. So this one is called the List It and then this one is I think it's called Today's Weather. So I thought those would be really cute. She has another set called Planet, but that one was sold out at the moment, so I'm, I have to special order that one. So those are the sets I'm going to use in here. Then I just had some extra little plastic cards. So what I did with those is I wrapped some washi tape around each one of those. For example, I like to take pictures for Project Life and for scrapbooking. So I have a lot of these different washi tapes that have cameras. Believe it or not, those are four different washi, actually five different washi tapes that have cameras on them. And they're all different colors. So I went ahead and wrapped some around so I could tear them off and use them on my planner pages as I needed them. There's also a fun one that has film strip and date stamps and things like that on it. Um, this one has another one that says date and it's in several colors. I think it's hot pink, yellow, brown, maybe a blue as well. I don't remember. That one is by My Mind's Eye. This one I believe was by Freckled Fawn. I know you can't see it in this lighting but it has white arrows with red hearts and yellow. And then I just kept the little pink hearts because I'm using so much Hello Kitty I'm sure there is some pink somewhere that I can use. And this one has the days of the week on it. This washi tape is by October Afternoon. Um, this is by My Mind's Eye as well. It came in the same kit as this washi tape with the dates came on. So those arrows are in the same colors. It's that pink, yellow, and a, um, like a turquoise. Then I also put some other arrow washi tapes on here. I believe this one may also be from my mind's eye and it just has different colored arrows, skinny arrows pointing in different directions. And then there's this one that has the turquoise arrows with the black tail feathers and then this one is just solid blue with different colored arrows that I can cut out. So I figured those are easy to use anytime in a planner so I went ahead and wrapped those. Now these are the flags that are made by ARC and they're on the attachment by ARC um, and then I just put that clip that I got from Office Depot up here. Here's my $1 um, notepad from the dollar bin at Target and I pulled out those pages as I demonstrated in a previous video, punched them with the ARC punch and put them in here. This was one of those refrigerator magnet pads punched those holes, put it in here. The zipper pouch has some more of those uh, what they're called rainbow stickers. I found these on eBay. They are transparent and I'll show those to you on my September calendar here in a moment. But Let me just kind of show you what they look like. So here's one with hearts. This one is like speech bubbles. 
This one is water droplets. This one is squares. This one has little banner pennants. And this one is stars. So I've used a lot of the stars on my September one. So I just keep those in here. They're nice because they're transparent, so whatever you write underneath them will show through. Here's the List It. That's again from the Dollar Bin at Target. This is a Hello Kitty page. I think these were racked to me from Amy. No. These are from LaDonna. So she sent these to me. They're really cute. So thank you, LaDonna. Then these pages are from the Martha Stewart. They actually came inside this Martha Stewart uh, binder. Um, so I added the pink washi tape to keep them in solid. It has all the um, holiday schedule, which is important since my kids are in public school for me to know what those dates are to have a heads up that they might be off of school that day. Also, there's a four year calendar in here from 2013 through this year and then 2015 and 2016. So I really like having the four year layout calendar. Um, I can look in the past and I can look in the future. So that's why I went ahead and washi taped those in here. So my plan is to try to use up my stickers sheet by sheet because I don't want to have, um, life is so busy, I don't want to have a whole bunch of things just accumulating and stocking up. I really want to use what I buy. So what I did is I have some that were, some of these were wrecked to me, some of these I've had for a long time, and I think one or two of these I recently bought at Target. So this is what I used for September. So as you can see, most of it has been used up and um, for the month of September. And I'll also be using it, well, hold on. I'm sorry, no. I used this for September because when I started doing my ARC planner, it was the last week of September. So I really didn't get to go through and use all of these stickers. So I just left them on the back. This is what I've done so far with October. And I'll give you a preview of some of those October pages. And then here's just a few stickers that I have left that I can use on my weekly pages to finish out my October as time goes on and more events get filled in. So my plan is month by month to use each page completely. So hopefully this entire page will be done by the end of October. This one here I really like because of the colors. It has purple and orange in it. So it kind of has that fall feel and I don't know if you can really see it with the glare. Um, so I thought I would use these for the month of October. Um, I'm probably gonna go back to using these in November and probably the blue ones in December when it starts getting really cold. So we'll just see how it comes together. But that's the plan on how to use these stickers so I just I don't end up just, you know, keeping a whole bunch of stickers. And so that I don't have to hunt them down, these will stay in my planner so I just have them and I can do what I need to do when I do the scheduling. So on the back side of this, I just have the um, sticky notes and some post-it notes. This is my September calendar. I do want to show you something from the side. So these are all my calendars so far for September through December of 2014. What I did was since September was just the last month, I marked that one in this light blue washi tape on the edging. That way when I flip through these pages, I'll be able to see exactly what month I'm in if I mark all of that same month was the washi tape. This wasn't my idea, I've seen it on a, a lot of other planner videos and I just thought that was a brilliant idea. So to be able to just look and at a glance and know what month I'm in. Um, it's easier than sticking a whole bunch of tabs on the side that stick out. Um, I really like how clean of an edge I get to have. So this was my month of September, which I think I already had shown you, but I'll go ahead and open it up since September is over. So maybe a couple times a month I will go ahead and post a couple more videos as to 
what my planner layout looks like for that month, but it will be at the end of the month after the events have passed. So September is finished, and this is just where I used um, my Hello Kitty flags and different things like that. I highlighted some with pen. Here I used my Sharpie fine point markers, which I really love. Um, and I just bought some other pens that are very similar, um, but I forgot the name of them. I think they're called like Sta Sta Stadler, Stadler, something like that. Um, but they're supposed to have the same effect and not bleed through. Here's where I used some of those rainbow stickers. So you can see they are transparent and you can see the date through those stickers when I marked them. And those were marked for specific occasions. All right. So then we go into October, which I'm not going to show my full month calendar yet. I will post that very soon. Um, but then we start going into my week by week. So what I did to make it easy, since I don't always have time to sit down every single week to do this, I just did the entire month real quick, all in one step, and I can add to it as I go. So just very basic, for this week I chose, um, I'm keeping this is going to be consistent during the whole month. It'll All of them will have this pink trim, and I just changed up whatever the washi was in here to match the Hello Kitty stickers that I used inside. So that's one week. The next week I did the same. I used two other types of washi and I used it to match the little Hello Kitty stickers that have the yellow background. This one has more of the blues and the pinks in it. So there's a Hello Kitty with a bow and another Hello Kitty with a bow down here. This one I went with the hearts and the turquoise. So this is a really cute washi tape, one of my favorites. And then I added another one right here. So I think that was it. Yeah. So this is where October ends. And you can see I left, I added the pink over here. Then this one is going to be transitioning toward November. It's kind of a split week. Eventually, I end up moving this calendar into my November area because the other side has the whole start of a November week. So this will start a new color of washi, and I'll show that when I decorate those pages. So this is my planner so far through the month of October. Um, so on here, I think you've already seen these others. These are the post-it notes. This is the paper that came from the Martha Stewart planner. So I have a, a lot of those and I have plenty of extra. So I have the rest in storage. Um, I have some more. Oh, I have to show these. I had forgotten that I had these. They came in the cutest package from my friend Sue from overseas. So hi Sue, I finally got to use them. Thank you so much. But look, this is where she's from. And so it's the... I don't know, Sue, are you in London or Scotland? I forget. But she sent them to me from where she lives. And they are just adorable. So I went ahead and stuck those in here. And I will be using those in here too, Sue. So thank you very much. And then this is the ARC grid paper. This was racked to me from um, Amy, Amy in the ARC Addicts Facebook group. So thank you very much, Amy. And this one too, these are some more of those pages that Amy sent me. They're page protectors. So I thought what I would do in these is I want to put one page is going to be a collage of my kids. Another page is going to be a collage of me and my hubby. So it's nice to carry pictures of the family around, especially since I take my planners with me to work. And if my clients have never met my family, they can see a couple of pictures of us. So that is it. This is my new planner that I have now that I've been working feverishly on over the past week. And I really love the colors. So this is going to be fun to work in. Um, I'm loving the Hello Kitty theme right now and I'm not burnt out of it. So I'll be using that for a while, I think. Um, at least through December of this year, probably. Next year I may add more variety to it since I have so many other types of washi tape as well. 
So that was it. Thank you for watching.